Hi, my name is Bob Oliver. Let me introduce you to a DHC 2000. This torch has been around for 30 years, made in Michigan in the last 22. And let me tell you about it. It mixes its fuels different than a regular torch. In the mixing chamber, it mixes it like 50 50. But the end result is it's 900 degrees hotter at the tip of that flame than a regular torch. It's an oxygen free torch, it has no excess oxygen. It burns it all up. At four pound oxygen and four pound acetylene, it's real forgiving. Look how close you can actually get to the flame on that torch. Now, let me show you how it works. This aluminum is 3003 aluminum. Rod is 4043 TIG rod. Flux is Harris High Temperature Flux. We don't really need the flux to weld the aluminum. We just mix it with water about the consistency of toothpaste. We don't need the flux to weld the aluminum. We need a little bit for the surface. We actually wipe most of it off. If you were going to take well that, you would stain the steel wire brush edges, get it really clean. If it had dirt, oil, and grease on it, it could still weld it. It's the only torch on the market that will actually weld a dirty oil transmission cooler to have oil running through it. It's going to bring it right up and get it ready to melt. The bigger pieces you have to preheat, just like a TIG does. We'll just get it ready to go, both pieces. Put the rod in there, put the heat right on the rod, make it melt right out. If you stretch like a tick, dip in, dip out. All that cut that comes out of here. That's the stuff that tick hates. So let me show you something neat about this torch. Now I didn't do a really nice job of rolling. If you look down at it, it doesn't work to store it to metal on your back side. But here's the really neat thing. You can bend it, form it, shape it. It's a soft weld. Take all that to electricity or thermoshock your oil there. You've got a hard weld, all you can do is grind it down. And this one, you can bend it, form it, shape it. Now, let me show you something else great about it. I'll show you how forgiving this torch really is. Four pounds of oxygen and four pounds of acetylene, watch how forgiving it is. But if you try this with a regular torch, you just blast right through there. But not only have you got time to think about your welding, you got a lot of control with it. You can pummel this out. There's the kind of control you got with this torch. Just pump it right out. That's how forgiving that torch is. I'm going to this thin sheet metal for you, then I'll show you how it cuts. But even this rusty metal, this torch will clean that metal as it wells it. We like to leave a little gap in the steel, give that metal some room to expand. This is copper coated mild steel rod. You can use a coat hanger, fence wire, nail, whatever you can get. Again, we're going to take or make it, you wire brush it, clean it good. This torch will actually clean the metal when it rolls it. The old way was certainly well, it. you fan the heat ahead and dip it in and out. We don't do that. We actually hold this about a 10 degree angle, get a liquid pull and walk it across here. Notice what a nice narrow heat zone. It's not spreading its heat and distorting the metal. If you want to do the tire spindles on your car, and for your street rods, your old tractors, grain wagons, nothing better on the market than we're doing that tire spindle with this little torch. Now, I did do a really nice shot of all that. If you look down at it, it doesn't work to store the metal all up. There's your penetration on the back side. But here's the neat thing, that's a soft wall. You can hammer it down flat, grind it off. You can bend it, form it, shape it. You don't have to use a hard grinder to grind it down. It just adds heat back into what you're doing. Now let me show you how it cuts. We have to cut different than our regular torch too. I switch the guns here, but everything comes in the kit. We're still four pound oxygen and four pound of celery. We're just going to preheat that level to stuff tip, get it hot to get it started, one on the bottom with 100% oxygen when I pull the trigger. Just hold it about a 40 to 45 degree angle. 
Get it ready, get it started, put that bottom tip right on top of the middle. You never get it hot enough to hurt that tip, put it right down on the middle. Not only is it doing a really nice job cutting, if you look down at it, it doesn't warp or store it to metal to your backside and flat, I can't do any nicer work than that. Now let me show you how to cut the real steel. We cut up a one inch of steel, I'll cut you some half inch. We just, again, I'm going to switch the guns when everything comes to the kit. We're going to full cut this one. We just bring it over the top. So if you do a great big plate, you're going to pass your hand over the high heat. We'll bump this oxygen to 15 pounds. We're still 4 pounds of 70. Never ever change out of 70. <laughs> Three eighths. The book kind of takes a video, so I won't bore you with that. 
But we actually have a warranty card. We throw in some extra cards, tell you what rods to buy, which, uh, what diameter rods, which ones to use flux. We only use flux on two levels, aluminum and cast iron. Everything else we want without it. Send this warranty card in, we give you uh, a lifetime warranty on the torch itself. It's been around for 30 years, made Michigan the last 22, every piece on it's American made. 